you needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Olden Team video, guys. And today, we got Market Talk. I know I've done a few of these already this week, but that's for the reasoning of the first week I told you guys what to do for advice on about Monday. Come Thursday, it was like went to sell. And then Friday was out. Well, Friday, I think I did it. And today's Saturday, which is a Legend Day. So I'll probably be doing these around Legend Saturdays, right before Weekend League and right after Weekend League. They're probably the three that I schedule for on a weekly basis. Now, I believe, guys, we're at about 4,998 subs right now. So if this happens to get out, we're not there yet. I know there's at least two of you, but that's all right. We'll get that. I'm happy we're hitting 5K today. Appreciate that a lot. Next grind's 10K. Hopefully, maybe 6K within the week and then 7K by next week and then. Hopefully by the end of August, but we've got to see. Obviously, things have to slow down at a certain point, right? I hope not, but they probably will. Now, if you're new to the channel, go hit the sub button. Go down below, hit the noti bell button to get notified every time I post. That's huge for a lot of things I post, like coin tips, market tips, content. It's very big for that reason. Also, guys, comment down below what you guys think on the market right now and what you guys have sniped, gotten cheaper. I'm currently waiting for Lawrence Taylor, and it's not, it's not working out. He's too expensive. I will pick up Bruce Matthews, though, and I have a few quick little tips for you guys who want those two players and can't afford them. So stay tuned for that later in the video. But guys, let's get this video to 200 likes, smash the like button, and let's get into the video. So, I don't think I'm going to check out too many elites today. I'll, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go over the elites real slow, real, I mean real quick, and then we'll go into the legends because obviously today's more of a legend day. So let's check the 81s, 80, 88 to 81s real quick. Eh, they're the same. Not going to stay there for too long. I care more about the legends right now. 82s to 83s. 82s are actually, eh, they're all kind of the same. 83s, yeah. No movement on this front because, again, like I said, it's more about legends. So to get legend, you have to filter them out. 84s. So let's filter out by legends already because it's not, it's not going to look too well if we don't do that. So as you guys can see, the 84 let So pretty much any overall that's a legend will be cheaper than the elites. So that's what I'm saying. If you could snipe out a lot of these 84s for like 33k, 32k, you could sell them probably later on in the night for like 40k each and make like... Let's see, it's 8k extra to 7k extra minus reduction. You can probably make like 4 to 5k per. Which in my opinion is pretty good. If you really think about it, if you could get like 10 of them, that could be like 40k extra on top of everything that's with reduction included, I'm pretty sure. Now let's go up a little bit, let's see what the price are looking about a higher. Actually, I'm gonna show you guys a lower one, so let me go there real quick. So then the 82s are actually kind of similar, so I'm gonna avoid those. 86, 87s. So these are obviously down. 86 overalls right now. If you can get a 69, uh, okay. Derek Brooks like this are cheaper for an 86 overall. It's probably one of the best training values in the game right now. I know Legends are definitely the best training value in the game. Let's go to 87s, 93k. Okay, these are down too. I'd recommend if you guys want to build any Legends today, today would be the day. You snipe these out, you sit here on the filter. Well, I mean, for these you could do buy now. But I mean, if you really want to see if you can get an 87, the best filter would be know the prices go to newest. And just sit here like this in 86, 87 and just keep refreshing. Orange Taylor's 86 kind of down right now. See, like that, that's a good price right there. I'm just not buying because I'm trying to get Orange Taylor right now. I don't want to be out of money. But that Ken Houston's a good price. With 87s being down. That's probably a really good training value right there, too. Yeah, Ken Houston's gone. Let's see. But yeah, guys, remember that filter? It's pretty much just newest legends, any uh, any overall. Let's see the 88s, 89s. So we got a little, let's see what it's looking like. Larry Allen's actually okay. That's not bad. Bruce Matthews, 165k. Okay. I think a lot of the legends didn't change as much as expected. Well, a lot. You know what's gonna change mostly the position. So outside, right outside linebackers going down. Like Clowney went from 145 to like 102. So if you want Clowney, said his day to get him, which means the left guard market. There wasn't really much of a left guard market to begin with, only because there wasn't really any good left guards. And there's also tight end Kellen Winslow, but he's limited time, so he's not gonna affect it too much. Now, as you guys can see, a lot of legends didn't move as much yet. It's also still early in the day. But like I said, it also depends on the legends. Who Not all of them are going to move. So like, I'll show you guys, for example, if you come over to the 90s, 91s. Derek Brooks went down. About an hour ago, he was like 240. Obviously, you have to do it right off the bat. Things start coming up after a few hours after. Derek Brooks went down from like 280, 285, 290 to 245 before. But that's because they dropped an outside linebacker, which is obviously better than him. He was like 250 before Jerry Rice. So obviously you gotta sit here and wait. You gotta just stay, you gotta be on top of it quick and early. If you guys missed it already, I mean, there's still a small chance. 
he was 300k before and then he went up to 340 now he's back down to 300 310 but these are 340 anyways Kellen Wins was obviously limited time so not gonna bother with him in terms of the market now Lawrence Taylor is 700k wow he's probably gonna be expensive for a while it's kind of upsetting so I have a tip on how to get him pretty good pretty cheap now the only issue is is that costs a little bit of money but it's definitely gonna be worth it long term so as far as the legends go guys if I was sniping though I'd probably sit around I'd probably either see if I can get a Derek Brooks for really cheap and if you can't I'd probably sit around here 86 87s see if you can get these for under like 69k you can get 86 for under 69k it's a great deal right now like we said we just saw the Derek Brooks is going up again and another one is probably right there 84 to 85 you can get these for under you get the 84 for under like 34k easy buy sell later for about 40k Lawrence Taylor right there obviously you want them for under you want them for under about 33k 34k just because you want to count in reduction there because there's gonna be 3k reduction per now my quick little tip for how to get these for cheaper which I believe is pretty much a market tip because it's kind of getting it's gonna get you this player a little cheaper and you get to I get to at least use it this is good for people no money spent even me I'm gonna be doing it I know a bunch of people will be doing this so you get the power up you're gonna go over to Giants obviously to go find Lawrence Taylor He's a little bit expensive right now, so I have another tip for that in case you're not really feeling that one. So, let's see, to show you guys, let's type in Taylor just so we can get a good idea of what price he's going for. There we go. So, Lawrence Taylor is going for, it looks like 14K. So, what you guys are going to want to do is, because to buy now, just because, obviously, here we can do that. Buy now, 13K. So, you're going to want to buy him and power him up. Now, I will, I will probably do it on video, but this kind of, I mean, yeah, I'll buy it. But guys, if I was you guys, to save coins, go over to the solo challenges, go to legends, and play the Lawrence Taylor legend solo. I'll show you after this video, after this uh, this card. You buy that out for 13k. Do not buy it out. It's a waste of coins. Go play the solo. It's free. Also, if you need coins, go over and go play the solos, and just you can go sell it afterwards. But watch this. So I'm gonna power my way up all the way. I'll let you know how much it costs when the end of this. It's looking like it probably cost. Okay, so that costed like. Let's see, so I'm right there. That costed about, let's see, that costed, I had about 2,000 something. That cost me about 120K to do. So it was 120K for an 88 overall outside linebacker. So he cost the same price as Clowney. But Clowney, this card blows away uh, Jadavion Clowney. So as you guys can see with the stats, he has an 83 speed, 86 excel, 83 awareness, 83 tackling, 83 impact blocking, 86 power move, 83 finesse, 87 pursuit, 82 block, 83 play rec. And 83 hit power. So this card's pretty insane, and it didn't cost me all that many coins. You have almost the best right outside linebacker for pretty, pretty cheap. Now, like I said, I'd recommend sniping them out the piece if you want him. And you, I would power him up. If you're gonna power him up, this is the best way to do it. Same thing with the other guy, which is Bruce Matthews. I'm probably gonna power him up too. The solo challenges, obviously, under solos, you can go over to solos and play Lawrence Taylor, get his power up. But as far as the market goes, guys, the legends weren't impacted as much as they should have been. And the reason for that is because it was Lawrence Taylor. So Lawrence Taylor is just gonna be so rare, so expensive. They're getting bought out. They, 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 there's not gonna be a chance for them to kind of tumble down and lower prices. Lawrence Taylor, Lawrence Taylor is too overpowered. He's gonna be bought out, and that's it. It's like when Vic drops and Deion Sanders drops, those kind of cards. Other cards will change it much more differently. And also, Kellen Winslow wasn't as he's good, but he's limited time. And Bruce Matthews. But remember, guys, we're gonna snipe today. Left guards and right outside linebackers are gonna be the cheapest. Legends in general are gonna be cheap as hell. If you just put them on newest, you search by legends and you sit there long enough. But for future advice, you always want to be here between 10:30 and 11:30. It's probably going to be the prime times to do it. As the day goes on, it's going to be a lot. It's going to be a lot more expensive. But if you can get them at the 10:30 to 11:30 window, you could probably end up selling them for a good amount later on that day to make your money back. But I hope you guys have already sold your teams. Prices were crazy expensive. Hopefully, after weekly league rewards drop, things will come back down. You can buy a lot of players back. And for people who were asking, no, I did not sell my team because I'm trying to compete in weekly league to get you guys rewards for next week. I don't know if I'm going to open up the packs, take the coins. I feel like taking the coins is a lot smarter, but I kind of want content for you guys, so I have to kind of debate that, guys. But that's about it for the video. I hope you guys have been enjoying the market talks. I hope that they've been useful for you guys. I know I've done like three this week, but I'm telling like, that's what kind of my schedule is going to be. When big things drop, Legend Saturdays, Weekend League Rewards. Obviously, once I do this enough, I'm not going to be doing it every week because you guys will have an idea. But I will be doing them, especially when big things drop that change things massive, like, you know, dramatically. Also, drop the content video going over all the legends. So if you guys haven't seen that, go check that out in the last video. Should have been posted already at this point by recording. And I have a lineup update coming for you guys later, which will not be including Lawrence Taylor because I did record it prior to that, but not the biggest of deals. 
I'll probably make another one next week when I have everything in total. If you guys, if you're new to the channel, go down below, smash the sub button, turn on the notification bell to get notified every time I post. Let's get uh, 200 likes in this video. I know you guys can do that. You guys have been killing the like button. And comment down below what you guys think on the new legends. I personally think Lawrence Taylor is a beast, and the 88 is going to be perfect for my team, and I'll power him up when the time comes. And guys, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys have been enjoying the content. I'm out. Peace.